Hallelujah. You know, I'm delighted to be sharing this because one good thing again about the heritage is that the enemies will be paying your transport fare to your throne. They will be the one working to ensure you are seated on your throne. Of course, remember Jesus said it to us. He said, there will always be challenges. People will call you names. People will challenge you. People will, for my sake, they will do a lot of things. But he said, be of good share. I have overcome. John 16, 31. That's 31 to 33. Also, in Romans 8, 28, he said, all things work together for good to them that love God. Don't forget that. So all things. And it happened in the life of Joseph. In Genesis 37, I'm reading from verse 28 and 36. Just two verses. Genesis 37. 28 says, When the Midianite traders came by, the brothers took Joseph out of the well, out of trouble, they put you, and sold him to the traders for 20 pieces of silver. They even traded for you. They collected money to help you to transport to where your throne is. The traders took him to Egypt. Can you imagine how sweet it is? <laughs> 36 says, The Midianite traders later sold Joseph in Egypt. They also collected money. Your, everybody, including your enemy, will be benefiting your, for your, of your progress. That's the good thing about somebody on the north side. Everybody will be benefiting of your progress. The Midianite also made money. But of course, they will, they will be 20. They will sell him for more. They sold him to Potiphar. They won't sell you to just anybody. They will own their, their work is to guide you to your destination. An officer of the king of Egypt, because where he's going is the palace, the captain of his palace guard. Palace guard. Can you see the way the Lord Almighty was? The good thing is that, yes, Joseph went through everything. As a child of God, you will face things. But James chapter 1, if you read from verse 2 to 4, he said that count it all joy when you pass through that last temptation. It will help you to grow. Don't forget that. Why serving God? Because you are not of this world. There are things, the system. You know, when, when, when you are not fit into something, there will be a lot of bruising here and there. But the good news is that in Genesis 41, reading verse 43 and 45, Then Pharaoh gave Joseph another name. You see, people work for you a lot. Zapenam Pena. He also gave Joseph a wife. A name, a wife named Asenath. She was the daughter of Potipharia, a high priest in the city of Om. So Joseph became the governor over the whole country of Egypt. You know the meaning of all these things. He gave him a wife. One day he gave him a house. One day he gave him a throne. One day he gave him security. One day he gave him political influence. That man is the priest of Egypt. Pharaoh married Joseph to the daughter of the high priest of Egypt. That is political influence. God, the man will protect his daughter's constituency. So that is security. Nobody can even, even Pharaoh can no longer remove him again. That's what God can do. He will make all things work together for you. But you must remain on his side. God is at work.